Alright, welcome back to more Mega Man Maker. Today we're playing through the, the Mega Man X Zero Terrain. And I have both um, I have both already played this map and I've also watched a let's play or a playthrough of it over on YouTube. And yeah, here is something I noticed while playing it earlier. If you hold out this saw blade and you run, then just switch over to the buster with the quick command and hold up. You can actually run and shoot it best. <laughs> Which, yeah, you're not supposed to do. You're supposed to just stand and shoot diagonally. <laughs> so, yeah, I just happened to find that, you know, just, just now, actually. <laughs> it's a very interesting glitch. But, yeah, I'll probably just report it over on the Mega Man Maker forums, you know. In the, bug, in the bug report section. Oh my god, I almost died. Lucky we had double, double jump on bass here. And we should totally just do this here instead. I'd rather play it safe, and you know what? Let's just. Yeah. I don't even know why I'm sweating about it. Let's just double jump. <laughs> okay, and then here we have Nightman back here and the trick with this guy here is that there are those Mega Man 9 or 10 guys in here so you don't wanna run at Nightman you just wanna fight him back here if you enter the room too much it's just gonna be chaotic you gotta you gotta stay over here basically there we go and now just gonna skip that guy but yeah, like, if you fight, if you fight, if you fight Nightman with the flame sword, you can't push back those shield guys there. So yeah, you pretty much gotta make sure that you don't fight both at the same time. That's just, yeah, that's just ludicrous, L ludicrous, whatever. <laughs> oh my god, sword sets off the grenade there. That's, yeah, that's not gonna do it. That's not gonna cut it, and... Yeah, <laughs> Jesus. I guess they're kind of putting in the boxes here that the train is supposed to uh, transport here, something rather like that, if I had to guess. But yeah, this is the main reason why I went down here, because if you're up there on the top, um, these guys will hit you over and over, so yeah, see like this. <laughs> Unless, you know, you could double jump over them, I guess. As long as you don't have boxes to put down. But yeah, this stage is pretty much already over. Um, it's a very short one, very, very easy. Only takes a few minutes. Yeah. And here we have the main boss. And the main boss is... Yeah. Much easier than the... Uh, Nightman fight there, like we just gotta make sure to shoot you through the holes here, and they might shield himself a little bit, but yeah, that doesn't really matter. And yeah, I heard from Late Night Mega that this is supposed to mimic the original boss room, but that it's not like necessarily working as in the original stage. But yeah, I have never played. Uh, Mega Man X Zero Mission or whatever that game was called, Zero Destroying Train, uh, whatever, whatever. <laughs> I don't know which game this stage is from, but yeah, I never played the original either, so I can't really compare, but yeah, like all in all an okay stage, but uh, yeah, I, I still am not 100% uh, you know, sure about these Zero stages, like they are really cool in the original games, but I just don't think that they transfer all that well into Mega Man Maker, they, yeah. Like all the cool aesthetics and you know the cool backgrounds and all of that in the original Zero games or X games or whatever they are just like when we get when we get it into the Mega Man Maker game it, it looks very it it looks a little bit uh, I'm not really sure weird is not really the right word but yeah it, it looks a little off in some ways <laughs> but yeah like uh, as I said all in all a pretty decent stage there so yeah. I just needed that. Um, thank you guys for watching, and have a nice day.